Hello everyone, I see lots of people on here. Um, I'm gonna take a couple questions um, and uh, encourage you to go and get the album if you don't have it yet. Lots of people from Brazil, from uh, South America. Uh, we got some people from, uh, well, from Mexico. We got uh, more people from Brazil. We got more people from Brazil, yeah. So all you people from Brazil, I just wanna say, uh, we're gonna get there someday. We're gonna get there someday. I don't know when, but uh, soon. And I know a lot of people over you are, are uh, requesting that I come to Brazil and um, you know, we've heard you, uh, but not, not that that should stop you from, from requ requesting, but we are definitely hoping to get there someday soon. Uh, so yes, thank you for being here with me, hanging out. I'm gonna try to answer a couple questions. It's really hard for me to multitask, to talk to you while reading questions. So, uh, will I tour this album? Who said that? Man, this keeps jumping up. Will you tour this? Michael Caine asked, will I tour this album? I don't know. You know what? Um, so, will I tour the My Way CD? You know, I can see it happening. I've, I've started a new thing recently. Uh, got to play with an orchestra, uh, a symphony in Mexico City, uh, the uh, Symphony of the University of Mexico, which is the biggest uh, symphony in Mexico. Uh, and we did a Queen show, and I'm hoping we've already in, we're already in talks with them to do non-Queen music. <laughs> See, there's two kinds of music in the world: there's Queen music, and there's non-Queen music. As far as it, you know, what I do, but uh, yeah. So um, a tour, I, I don't know for sure, but I would sure love to do some of the music on this on this uh, album with an orchestra. That would be fantastic, and we're hoping to take that to the States sometime soon. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, Brazil loves you. I, I Thank you, Brazil. Thank you. Cesar Moser. I don't know if I'm pre pronouncing that correctly. Uh, Argentina. Argentina, another country I've never been to that I would love to get to sometime in my life, sometime soon. Uh, that is an interesting name, Mr. or... Miss Clayton, I don't know, Sh Shansay, Sh Shansi? That's a very cool name. March of the Black Queen. I do love March of the Black Queen. And uh, maybe you'll see that on, on My Way Volume 2. I don't know. I, I haven't even thought about uh, what I'm going to do for the next covers album. But uh, I hope you enjoy this new one that just released today. Actually, the reason why I'm in uh, South Carolina today is because I'm on the road with the Black Jacket Symphony. Black Jacket Symphony based out of Birmingham, Alabama and a band that has made a really uh, great career and has a really great following, uh, especially in the Southern United States, doing um, albums from front to back. And they have about 35 different albums they do from 35 different artists, you know, whether it's Led Zeppelin or... Um, uh, uh, Pink Floyd or Michael Jackson or Prince uh, uh, they do the, the Beatles is the biggest one they do uh, they do all you should check check them out the Black Jackson Black Jacket Symphony if uh, you live anywhere in the states of the United in, in the southern United States uh, they tour all over this area and um, they're really it's a really great concept to watch an album performed from front to back and it's not just like a concert with these songs in it it's performed as if you're listening to the record. So uh, there's no talking in between the songs. You go from one song to the, to the next um, as exactly like the record as possible. It's a lot of fun. Uh, if I had to add a song to this, oh boy. Was there a song that we almost did that we decided not to do? I'd have to think about this. For a moment there, it looked like I was going to answer that question, didn't it? Maybe, uh... What song would I do? be tempting to do another Queen song, but, uh... Maybe, like, uh... I'm just a singer with a song. I like that tune. I also like, um... I've never really gotten the chance to sing Who Wants to Live Forever uh, very much, which I believe is one of Queen's best tunes. 
Way to go, Brian, on that one. That is a great tune. Let's see. I'm looking for questions, people. Uh, Dahlia Solis. Hey, Dahlia, how's it going? Uh, asks, um, what gave me the idea to change the synthesizers on Take On Me to trumpets. What gave me the idea? Um, where do ideas come from? I don't know. It's sort of like, uh, maybe it was an inception pe thing where people got into my dreams and then I woke up one day and, and uh, they had planted an idea in my brain and I thought, I'm pretty sure it was my idea. So uh, yeah, it was my idea. I don't know what made me think of that. But uh, one day I was thinking about Take On Me and maybe I was sort of getting into, maybe I was listening to some Sinatra or something, a swinging big band tune or something, and uh, I made the connection to Take On Me and I decided instead of doing it like the 80s way, which is very straight, I was like, what if it would, what if it went, and I... I proposed the idea to Ben Shive, my producer, and he loved it, and he already knew uh, a great trumpet player and a great saxophone player. Shout out to uh, Keith Smith, incredible uh, horn player, and uh, I'm blanking on your name, dude. I know you played sax on the song, and I'm ashamed that I don't have your name at the front of my cortex. <laughs> but... Uh, we loved, it, it worked out, I'm so glad that, it, you know, it was kind of a crazy idea, maybe not too crazy, but uh, yeah, I, um, it worked out so well, I love the feel. We sort of referenced, like I said before, we, we referenced um, Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go by Wham as sort of the feel, so you know, we had a direction for that song for Take On Me, so it's kind of a mashup of those two songs. I really wish I had someone here looking through the questions because this makes for some really boring TV, doesn't it? Oh, you know what? I know I keep going back to Queen songs, but uh, another Queen song that I would like to record someday is You Take My Breath Away. I think that is one of Freddie's shining moments. The vocal arrangement in that is pretty crazy. You know, I... I know that Freddie was just a man, uh, like you and I, who are men. He was a human being, you know, with a, with a lot of talent. But sometimes I listen to what he did, you know, before he was even the, he was even thirty years old. I think he did his best work before he even was thirty years old, which um, kind of is the mark of a genius, you know. So uh, and and you take my breath away when I listen to that vocal arrangement. I'm like, it kind of makes me mad how good it is, you know. It's one of those things, and uh, here I am, not younger than 30, and um, I can't say I've ever written anything that good, so maybe someday I gotta keep working at it. You know, everyone, everyone reaches their goals in, in their own time. Life is, life is a funny thing like that, you know? Everyone has their own journey. Um, you can't compare yourself to other people. Uh, Jojo Campy says, what a strange voice. Are you cold? Do I, do I have a cold? I don't have a cold, but, um, I woke up about an hour ago because we had a show last night and, uh, usually the day after a show in the morning, my voice is a little rough, uh, a little deeper than usual, but no, I do not have a cold. Jojo, thank you for, uh, your concern, but, uh, my voice just has to warm up a little bit for the show tonight. And uh, usually when I do two or three shows in a row, like back to back, one night after the other, I, I find that right around 5 p.m. is when my voice starts to feel back to normal. And then uh, usually I'm ready to go for 8 p.m., which is usually when the shows start. So, um, yep, I, I'll be fine. My, my voice actually feels great, uh, although it sounds a little rougher. But, uh, yeah, I've learned to not panic about that and just uh, pace myself in a show and not push too hard. Push push hard enough um, so that people get that feeling that they're looking for, like in uh, 
you know, when you're singing We Are the Champions and the show must go on and stuff like that, that's, uh, you gotta, you gotta give it. You gotta go for it. There's no holding back, people, you know? I need an assistant. Oh, man. This thing keeps jumping around. When I start reading a question, it jumps down, and I'm like, stay still. Oh, also, the video for Take It With Me. Did I talk about that yet? I don't think I did, but maybe I did. Last night, we released a video for Take It With Me. Guys, I think this might be the favorite, my favorite video that I've released to date. Uh, Crystal and I decided to compile all of our favorite videos from our phones that we've taken over the last seven years that we've been married. And man, that's, an, that's something that I would recommend to all of you who are married or have an ex a significant other in your life. Um, I highly recommend doing that. That was such a beautiful thing to do, um, to compile all these videos from our phones and put them to music. Um, I was lucky enough to have a song that, you know, that I had recorded to be the soundtrack for it. But man, uh, I, I have watched that video more than any other video that, that I've put out. And every time when I get, when I get to the very end, uh, you know, I get my eyes are red and, uh, you know, I, I know that you guys can't relate to it like I can, but, uh, I hope that you guys see this video and it makes you think of the people that you love the most. But, uh, there's one scene in particular that is my favorite scene in that video. And you see my wife, Crystal, turn around with a bewildered look on her face. She's going like this and then it cuts to me and then it cuts back to her sort of crying and falling on her face on the stairs and uh trust me she is crying tears of joy because i had surprised her with a trip to go visit our best friends up in in british columbia and uh the way that i told her that we were doing that was i had put in a picture frame on the wall you can see the picture frame on the wall there that she was looking at and it, it was a picture that we took with, with our two friends, uh, Jordan and Mel. And uh, we like to take trips together, go skiing or, or you know, vacations, whatever. And, and uh, just lovely people. Also, Jordan is, is one of my producers. He, he's produced a, a, a couple few songs of, on my Christmas stuff. But uh, I had printed out a picture of all four of us and made text bubbles saying, you know, you're coming, you know, pack your bags, we're going on a trip, or, we're, you know, we're going to go do something together, and, um, you know, Crystal wears her emotions on her sleeve, which is one of my favorite things about her. I never have to wonder how she's feeling, but uh, when I surprised her with that, it was the most rewarding surprise I've ever given anyone, and she immediately broke down into tears, and she was so happy that uh, I had to include that moment near the end of that video because it's literally the favorite my favorite moment that I've captured on video ever so uh, anyway this music video means a lot to me all that to say uh, I would love to see you on American Idol or The Voice any chance of that happening by Karen Seasongood uh, you know what Karen I, I don't think that's I don't think that's gonna happen um, that's that's a great, those reality shows are a great uh, tool for people at a certain point, at a certain time in their life. Uh, they make sense for, for uh, you know, a lot of younger, but there's also some, some older people that go on those, I'm not saying I'm old, but um, I don't know. I feel like that's not, not going to be my journey in life. Um, I'm, I'm happy to keep doing what we're doing and... Uh, you know, plugging away, making our own videos, recording our own music, and uh, kind of doing it grassroots. Maybe someday I'll, I'll sign with a record label bef again. I mean, I've I've been on several uh, record labels and, and record deals and publishing deals. But um, for now, we've decided to be independent and stay that way. There's financial reasons, there's career reasons, there's philosophical reasons for that. And right now, it just really makes a lot of sense for us. Uh, I can't say I haven't been tempted by 
uh, by those shows before, you know, I, I watch them occasionally. I watch The Voice uh, sometimes. Uh, I'm not watching this season, but I watched, I think, the previous season. Um, uh, I love it when my friends are on those shows. I love to cheer them on. I've got um, uh, one, of my, one of my friends came in second on the last season of American Idol before this new thing started up again. Um, so that was really fun to watch. Uh, Clark Beckham, check him out, incredible singer. Uh, let's see, I'm only gonna do a few more minutes. I think I've been in here quite a long time and you've listened to me ramble. I'm sure a lot of you are tired of it by now. I've moved, moved on to your sandwiches. You know, I would love to do a late night show. That uh, Rick Zinda, Zinda? I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, Rick, but I know we've met. Uh, the Tonight Show is where you fit. I wouldn't turn that down. That would be that would be really cool. You know, I, I love the late night shows. I watch a lot of, uh, well, I watch Jimmy Fallon sometimes, Conan O'Brien. Carlos Trujillo, uh, do you, have you thought about doing a video for Last Christmas? I love that cover. Uh, so I did a song for uh, Ubisoft, the video game company, who do the video game Just Dance. And uh, Steve We Met is a producer who does a lot of the music for that video game. And what he does is he recreates songs to the T exactly. You know, some artists will not allow their music to be used for video games. And when that happens, you have to recreate the music. Uh, and so Steve we met, uh reached out to us and asked me if I would sing Last Christmas by Wham, just provide the vocals for it. And that was a lot of fun. Um, it's not really something I can do a video for because Ubisoft owns the rights to that song. Um, but that would be a lot of fun. And here I go, just keep answering questions. You take my breath away. Da 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 da